Reloads in the open. Dies. South African troops have been involved on a limited scale in two completely separate actions in Angola. One is north of Avambo in the Angolan province Kunene, and according to reliable sources, this is aimed at stopping the annual infiltration of Swapo terrorists into Avambo. <laughs> during the rainy season, Swapo attempts to infiltrate Southwest Africa and Namibia for acts of terror. The 12 South African soldiers killed two weeks ago were involved in this area. About 150 Swapo terrorists were shot during this operation. A few years ago, Swapo had a force of 12,000. Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Talking Ball Kalaba. Welcome back to another episode where I try and murder your brain cells. Please don't lock me up and put me in jail and throw away the key. Today we're going over a gun much overdue on the channel. And we won't see the last of it because this is the dangerous Hebrew version. I want to get the South African version on the channel. But nonetheless, it's okay because it's Galil and Galils have a special place in my heart, at least on this channel due to my strange and ever Let's fiddle on the roof for you. Obsessive love for the South African culture as well as Rhodesian history and all that weird nuanced stuff, right? And Galils are just freaking cool. Hey, listen up. Listen, I know. I know you're on the toilet. I know you're drinking your coffee, eating your booze right now. And I'm honored that you would spend your cherished moments with me. I'm a little concerned that you have chosen me as company, but nonetheless, feel free to like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Your comments are a sacrifice to the Israeli God of Galil's. I'll ask the rabbi about that one. I'm not sure. You know, it's gonna sound bad. I'm gonna go down this road, but I think one of my fondest memories of the Galil was when I was a young lad. I'd run home from junior high, all geeked up on chicken nuggets and weird apple cider things that they served at the cafeteria, and I'd come home and I'd get to play me some Call of Duty Black Ops, the first one. And one of the guns that just absolutely shredded in that game was the Galil. And let me just tell you, that has ever since sparked a intrinsical desire, words are hard sometimes, I don't know what I'm saying. It, it sparked in me this desire to own a Galil. What makes this gun so darn neat? Well, talking to them, this is the Hebrew version of our dangerous Israeli friends that live around a constant state of fear because they're surrounded by enemies. So they have a never ending arms race. So we back backtrack towards, you know, the Cold War era when they're looking around, you know, they're a freshly minted country. They're going through trial and errors. They're fighting off all these Arab countries around them. And they're like, hey, we have to improve upon our weapons. I think they had what, like Uzis and what else? Maybe like bolt guns at first, right? Sound about right. And then they started getting like FALs in. And then they're like, hey, maybe want something a little bit better. So they're looking at the AKs and how the AKs performed. But then they're looking at the other weapons and then they, and like they end up coming with an amalgamation of all these different guns, you know? It's a 5.56 five, weapon, they like the caliber. Then they also got, uh, you know, the AK gas system going. You got an FAL folding stock, you know, like similar controls. And they kind of enhanced upon these other platforms and made their own in the classic Israeli faction of <laughs> 
what they wanted from a fighting rifle. And to be honest, as a desert gun, I can kind of see this being pretty slick, man. It's, it's definitely a cool weapon. The most important thing, of course, that you can do is you got a bottle opener down here. I think they added a barbed wire cutter uh, so you can come up to your barbed wire fences and cut them. I don't know how easy that would be if you're like trying to like, you're getting like shot at and you're trying to like cut some barbed wire. So I'll give it to them. They did think of a lot of stuff. Of course, this one in particular would need a little bit more work for mounting uh, more modern optics. But for the time period, you know what you're dealing with, uh, this is probably pretty cutting edge technology and it's gonna help you get you to where you wanna go. Even so, uh, to the point where you know, the South Africans saw the Galil and they're like, hey, that's pretty neat. What was it like to shoot? Well, this one particular to me, I don't know if I'm going crazy, but this one as a uh, rifle felt very gassed. And I was like, as far as 5.56, go, I was, I was like, this actually is recoiling a decent amount. Like, I'm keep in mind, 5.56 to me doesn't recoil a lot after shooting, you know, AKs and FALs and all that. But for what the caliber size is, I was like shooting it and I was like, you know, there's a little bit of there's a little kick to this bad boy for how large of a weapon this is, how much it weighs. You know, it's not like a streamlined, you know, AR-15 where it's super lightweight and they shaved off all the, you know, material as much as they could. This is like a legit fighting rifle. <laughs> well, okay, every rifle is a fighting rifle if you think about it. But this one had some had some kick to it as far as recoil pattern goes. But I will say ergonomically, it felt great. It felt great to hold in the hands. I really like the feeling. The safety is a little bit goofy on the thumb side but you can deactivate the safety with or activate the safety i should say with your thumb which is kind of nice so when you do the whole sweep down to engage like a normal ak and then if you're like okay cool i don't want to shoot anybody i don't want to there's safety on it's kind of like a nice little mechanic i like that i wish you could activate a little bit easier by pulling it down but it's like very stiff i think that's a common complaint about galils and it's like a classic YouTube gun guy thing where they're like, well, you know, the safety thing on the glue. No one cares. Be a man, I guess. Charging handle, iconically uh, fabulous. It just looks so good with how it protrudes up. You have options, you know what I mean? So, you know, charge it, reach up and over. You have a few different options. That's kind of cool, little manuals of arms. And you gotta keep in mind, you know, I'm no expert on the Galil. It's my big disclaimer. I should have said this at first, but uh, expert, I'm no authority. I don't have the, uh, uh, you know, the blessing off from the Hebrew God to talk about Galil's, right? But I'm an admirer and I can look at these stuff and I'm a gun guy and I can think, okay, what do I like? What do I not like? What, what's some good takeaways? What's cool? What's not? All this, yada, yada, yada. And honestly, the Galil's pretty cool. The most important thing it does is it looks cool and it's probably killed a lot of bad guys so that's kind of sick uh, now you know the only downside to this gun that i well the only thing that i wish i could have with every firearm is an extensive knowledge on the platform what do i mean by that is not just like knowing the uh numerical uh specifications of the firearm like oh it's a 0.745 gas port and it's like okay hey first off i'm gonna be honest with you i don't care about any of that i know some of you guys care about that stuff cool i'm not one of those guys what i'm talking about is having a a very deep in-depth knowledge of your weapon, how it performs, knowing the fine-tuned nuances of uh, what kind of environment this gun's gonna excel in, and knowing kind of like, hey, um, where do I expect, say, a possible malfunction or a weak point of this gun is. It, it's, it's hard to explain, but like, if you spent a lot of time with a certain weapon, then you know that these guns have uh, weird, uh, it's also a connection to a certain point of history, at least, you know, for the Israelis, they're running around the desert for defending their homeland with a Galil, and they got to experience, you know, carrying a firearm in harm's way. And they got to learn the nuances of their particular firearms and their environment, where the gun excels, where they did good, where they did bad. And for some times, like, you know, for someone like me that, this isn't even my gun, I just get to show it off for YouTube real quick, that's kind of lost, that's kind of a bummer, but you know, at least for a little bit, I can have a connection to a firearm and it's almost like a connection to another part of history because you get to experience a very raw and naked part of history and that is the violence and kinetic action of a particular conflict. So that's kind of cool. That's the nice thing about firearms. That's one thing I really do enjoy about firearms and one reason I'm really big into, you know, gun culture and stuff like that because it's not just that they're, they're cool guns, but they connect you to history. And, you know, history is something that is so fascinating because you get to learn through the world of so many different, you know, optics of people that have lived. So that's, it's just something like, you know, I know it sounds like I'm deeping out, but to me, it's really cool. I really like that about firearms and they, it's almost like a portal to a different time period. You know, hey, gentlemen, this is a hard and fast video on the Galil. This is nothing too high threat. I just wanted to show it off because I love guns and I love showing guns off and how I would want to see guns shown off. That makes sense. 
If you want to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, Patreon is an excellent way to support the channel. I try and get videos out early to my Patreon. Sometimes I fail, sometimes I win. Working on discount codes for them, just for Patreons, as well as merchandise. Merchandise is an excellent way to support the channel, as well as getting meme tier swag. Uh, it's no perfect clothing line yet, but we'll get it there. Gentlemen, as always, stay easy, stay breezy. I will catch you all on the flip. Yeah.